Picks, and welcome to Adventures in Pixie Land. This is going to be your weekly reading going from January 16th to January 23rd. The space has been cleared, and these decks have been shuffled and cut with your energy in mind, so we are ready to jump in. But before we do, let's handle that busy work. Please do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help the channel gets us into those algorithms please don't forget to hit that notification bell below that is for your sake so you will know when Taurus content is uploaded Taurus content comes out every single Tuesday if you're feeling my vibe and would like a personal read please feel free to check out that description box below <coughs> if you want a live zoom call that's the square store if you want a pre-recorded it will look just like this, but it will be a YouTube link for just you with your question. Or if you want to get that energy reading where you get your natal charts, your translates, and uh, your life path number and your destiny path number. Or any of the holy rollers, heart chakra or, uh, you know, all all chakras are available right now. It's just, and what I mean by that is one roller that handles all chakras. I call it the Ascension Roller. And then uh, you've got uh, two different types of smudge sprays. One's white sage, you know, hey, I want to make sure that nothing gets in here. And then if you've got something that goes bump in the night, I call it Spirit Balm. It's got a little bit of everything that keeps away anything that goes bump in the night from all, a whole bunch of cultures. I don't want to call, claim all of them because there's a lot of cultures out there and maybe there's some that I just don't know about. Because I, I, I bet there are. <laughs> but uh, of the ones that I have had exposure to, it's got a bunch of different stuff in there. So it should be sufficient to keep you nice and safe. Uh, also, uh, if you're looking to uh, get personal readings on a regular basis at a discounted rate, that's it's a sus subscription. That's uh, the Patreon link. Uh, if you're looking to book me for a gig, that's Gig Salad. Uh, please make sure that you're watching your daily energy reading. And um, know that on Facebook and Instagram, I do have a store in the marketplace. It takes you back to the Square store. So, oh. let's start here with the 16th. We have the Waxing Crescent Moody Moon in Reserved Aries. Write a list of your intentions and keep them in mind. And it's square, 90 degree angle in the night sky. Messenger Mercury in Taskmaster Capricorn. Communication is a give and take. Thinking before you speak is highly advised. But grace, for those who might be a little nervous to deliver a message to you, well, that's a divine suggestion. The first quarter moody moon is in confident Aries and it's trine. That's favorable. 120 degree angle in the night sky. Relationship focus Venus in fun loving Sagittarius. There's a high energy for stability and security right now. A lot of room and energy for it. And you may be feeling confident. In fact, you may be feeling cocky. So careful and make sure you ground yourself so you can focus on what is right in front of you. Don't let your head get too big. Don't start rewarding yourself for things before you get it, actually get it accomplished, okay? On the 19th, the waxing gibbous moody moon is in steadfast Taurus. Assessing your goals and figuring out what's working for you right now, what you need to change. With Messenger Mercury in Taskmaster Capricorn, Trine, that's 120 degree angle in the night sky, expansive Jupiter in luxury loving Taurus. Relationship focused Venus in dynamic Sagittarius is square, the planet of illusion. Square's not good, 90 degree angle in the night sky. The planet of illusion, Neptune, in gentle Pisces. Like gentle, yes, because they're dreamy and they're imaginative and they're they're the cup of love. They're they're the knight of cups. They're the, you know, so they're, of course, gentle. You are channeling some mighty positive energy right now. You can see big picture with optimism. 
Your compassion game is top notch too. But you need to keep your boundaries so that no one tries to take advantage. But be gentle about it. Politely correct them when they try to give you something that isn't yours to take. On the 20th, in the morning, we've got the self-focused sun and Capricorn conjunct. That's a less than 10 degree angle. Messenger Mercury for one last time before that self-focused sun slides into humanitarian Aquarius. The planet of transformation, Pluto, enters back into Aquarius until September 1st. Then it'll slide back into Capricorn for a while, and then next year slide into, uh, slide back in to uh, Aquarius for 20 years. The wax and gibbous moon enters into quick thinking Gemini. It's happy Aquarius season. Now is the time to focus on embracing our quirks, being more independent, and on our future goals. Pluto entering into Aquarius only enhances the focus on future goals. That last Cappy transit brings something that you started six to eight weeks ago to a culmination and sprouts ideas for future expansion. The Gemini moon makes you want to gather information about those goals. Eight weeks ago would put it about Thanksgiving. So somewhere between, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas, depending upon what new thing you started. <coughs> so. On the 22nd, that waxing gibbous moody moon is an emotional cancer and it's opposite relationship focused Venus and fun loving Sagittarius. Today is a great day to take a you day. You need a break to process, process all those strong emotions that you likely haven't been dealing with for who knows how long. And I'm going to word it like that because now that I've finished the uh, the hypnotherapy class, I'm going to tell you that that is totally normal. Okay? Uh, when we're going through a trauma, we can't heal from it. I say that in my actual 3D life all the time. You can't heal from a trauma while you're going through it. So you, you have to wait for the trauma to end. And what will happen sometimes is because we can't deal with this trauma right now, our subconscious pushes it away and, you know, deals with it. And it'll pop up in dreams and weird habits and strange quirks and different, tr you know, weird triggers. And that's all because that healing wasn't done yet. And when things start to get good and we are feeling positive, then all the emotional drudgery will pull up because we couldn't deal with it at the time. So now we got to make time to heal from it. Which is why it's very practical just to make sure you have time to heal after you've completed the cycle of the trauma right after. So you don't have to deal with it years from now and now you've developed some terrible habit that basically destroys your life. On the 23rd, the relationship focused Venus decides to do the sea goat tango joining Pluto and Mars and all things traditional Capricorn. Our passion projects now take on new practical focus. Whether it's love or goals, we are more conventional in our approach and more committed to. And more committed to. I.e. If, uh, if you started something up with somebody during that and Venus and Sagittarius, which can be a lot of fun, but not particularly serious. Might be very passionate, but not particularly serious. You, uh, you will now, you know, now be wondering if it can make the long term or not. Whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. Taurus, January 16th through the 23rd. Taurus, January 16th through the 23rd. Taurus, January 16th. Okay. 
Taurus, January 16th to the 23rd. Taurus, January 16th to the 23rd. Taurus. Taurus, January 16th. Taurus, January 16th to the 23rd. Taurus, January 16th. Hmm. Okay. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope that this reading resonates with you. If you are a new viewer, welcome. I will clarify all these cards before I do, right? Past, present, near future, someone to you, you to the someone, balance, outcome, summary. <coughs> That's right, I decided to break out the original deck, the Merlin Tarot. I've had these cards since I was 13 years old, and I'm, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm 45. <laughs> I don't really care. As I've said before, I'm a Taurus sun, Taurus moon. Everybody ages. And I like to think that I just like wine. I get finer with age. I certainly seem to stack up more uh, education as I go, so there's that. Mm-hmm-hmm. There is no gender in tarot. You are either walking up to someone and talking or someone is walking up to you and talking. And this whole reading is a conversation between you and at least one other person. Some cards, booming groups, this one is. That one can be, but this one is. This one, uh, well, not necessarily. This card means groups. Uh, also in this channel, relationship is defined as a continued interaction between any two people. I'm uh, describing energy. You're going to place it on the person that sounds like, and then that's the relationship we're talking about. Lover's card in your past there. That's uh, Gemini energy. You could have a choice to make. Clearly, it could also be about a relationship. Whatever this choice is, promise. It's just potential emotions. It's not actual emotions. When we promise something, we say something we're intended to do. We intend to do this. It doesn't mean we're actually going to manage it. That's what a promise is. This is like getting the Four of Cups. This is like getting the Four of Pentacles. This is block energy, okay? So it could have been some sort of choice to block something. Somebody could have been blocking a relationship. There could have been a block in a relationship. Four of Pentacles. See how they're not looking at each other like that. Four of Pentacles. All the Pentacles are facing different directions. It's not good. Um, it could have increased tensions or increased some sort of uh, problems, maybe even money blockages. Okay, Emotional blockages could have created money blockages as well. That's another translation. Intention. That's like getting the Three of Wands. In your present moment, you're thinking about the future right now trying to plan out something you want. Magician, it's Gemini Virgo energy. You're trying to call something in. You're trying to manifest something. You're trying to create something. You could be interacting with one of them. We'll clarify and find out. That's like the Ten of Wands right there. That's a lot of responsibilities. That's a feeling of overwhelm. Somebody's feeling overwhelmed. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's somebody else. Four of Swords. That's truce. Okay, so that's like distance. It's quiet. It's like, you know, it's being at quiet with someone. This person could be at a physical distance from you, or you could just not heard from them in a while. Four of Swords. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. It's like an apology. It could be an apology coming in from this person, or it could be an emotional communication. Uh, Nine of Wands, any fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Heavy on the Sagittarius. Also a card of Scorpio. Careful though, because the Knight of Wands is uh, is here for a good time, not a long time. That can be player energy. Retribution. The Seven of Wands, feeling defensive. Taurus energy here with the innocent. That's the Hierophant. 
It's higher education, higher learning, and the divine. You could be defending, feeling the need to defend yourself or defend your divine connection. Defend something here. Nine of Swords. Somebody's feeling defensive because they're in some sort of nightmare energy. It's all about their inner head. Uh, conflict. I think you're really going to be encountering either you're going to be in these emotions because of this fight. Or you're really going to be, you know, whoever this person is that's at a distance from you. They could be triggering you. You could be triggering them. They could have been at a distance from you and you could be finding out something that happened while you guys were in separation. Because four swords can be a separation. What's this lover's card in Taurus's past? What's this lover's card in Taurus's past? Luck. Okay. Made a choice to be lucky. Could have taken a chance on a relationship. What's this lover's card? What's this lover's card? What's this lover's card? Page of Wands. Some sort of communication coming in about some kind of um, opportunity. Could be emotional. Ace of Cups. Something new. Something exciting. Six of Wands that would have been considered a victory. Made a choice that led you to a victory. Or you chose a relationship that led you to a victory. What's this promise in Taurus's past? Indulgence. Okay. What's this promise in Taurus's past? What's this promise in Taurus's past? What's this promise in Taurus's past? Somebody could be waiting. Could have been waiting. Maybe waiting for you to spoil them in some way. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, King of Cups, any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy on the Scorpio, also card of Libra. Four of Wands is a relationship, so this is a person you knew even then. I would look up the angel, well, 444. Four, four. All here in the past, too. This could be somebody you were trying to be patient with, somebody maybe you were indulgent with, somebody that, you know, there was a potential for something here, potential for some sort of relationship. What's this increase in Taurus's past? Friendship. So this blockage could have come from a friendship. What's this increase? What's this increase? <laughs> What's this increase? Uh, pentacles. So, or, if you would like an, another definition, this could be somebody that you were friends with, that you know is successfully progressing to something else, or it could be, if you want to look at it from the one, because four of pentacles is a block. Somebody could, uh, from a friend's group, or maybe more than one friend from a friend's group, or, you know, something of that nature, uh, tried to, to block the, the celebration of a relationship. They tried to block the, the, your financial abundance, your romantic abundance, what, you know, whatever it is. They could have been trying to block something. Could have had some interference going on here. What's this intention in Taurus's present moment? Pride, okay. Careful. Careful with that pride goes before the fall is the phrase. What's this intention? What's this intention? Okay. What's this intention? Okay. Emperor energy is Aries energy. Justice card is Libra energy. Contracts, document, paperwork, marriage, just, and the emperor can frequently be a married man. There could be some sort of relationship here with a father, a father figure. You're setting your intentions towards the future. And I feel like, you know, you could be taking pride, but it could also be a matter of self-worth or self-esteem. It doesn't necessarily have to be ego. You could be trying to be balanced, you know. Balanced in your choices 
possibly within a work environment, could even be with whoever this emperor is. Maybe you want to make sure that this emperor's ego is balanced before there's a relationship. You could want to know the intentions of somebody to make sure they're balanced before you engage in any, uh, well, anything with them. Because, you know, you want, you want to know you're interacting with good people. You don't want to be around crap people. What's this magician in Taurus's near future? Savings. Okay. Preservation, collection. I see you could be trying to manifest money. What's this magician? Like a promotion? What's this magician or a commitment? What's this magician? Moon card. Cancer Pisces energy. Okay, with this tower. So Gemini Virgo energy. Aries energy with the tower. Cancer Pisces energy with the high priestess. I'm I'm like I'm sorry, but this can mean the end of a marriage. Or the end of a job. Whatever you have a commitment to. The end of a commitment. Something going on in the background. Hidden behind the veil. Within some sort of commitment. Could be bringing about some sort of ending. But well, you're over here trying to manifest the saving possibly of this commitment. Or there could literally be magic, money magic being done, you know. Like I've talked about in other tourist readings. They like to come for our money because it, it impacts us and we feel it. And, you know, it has to do with our pride. I'm going to look at those. But I didn't ask a question yet. <laughs> so I'm going to shuffle them back in. Family idea and uh, game. Okay. So there might be a good idea from somebody in your family. <laughs> they could gain you some stuff. Or it could be that, uh, you know, we were trying to gain more from our good ideas for our family. What's this responsibility in Taurus's near future? A vow? A hope? Worship. Okay. What's this responsibility? What's this responsibility? What's this responsibility? Wheel of Fortune. Divine timing being at plan. Aquarius energy with the star. Queen of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Capricorn. Also card of Sagittarius. So you're feeling overburdened because of this, you know, promise that you made. Or someone's feeling overburdened. Could be this Queen of Pentacles. Because that doesn't, we're the King of Pentacles, Taurus is. This is Queen of Pentacles or somebody else. Because, um, like I said, there's no gender. It doesn't matter. Somebody's feeling overburdened. Possibly because of vows they made. Or promises they made. That there's an element of destiny at hand. Or could be a promise that they made to an Aquarius. That's got divine timing at play. What's this truce in Taurus's future? One, what's this truce? What's this truce? In Taurus's future. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Mystery, magic, ceremony. Something happened. Somebody did some kind of ritual, rite, or ceremony. Truce. Behind the scenes. What's this truce? What's this truce? What's this truce? They're feeling defensive. Nine of Wands. Could be a Capricorn, could be a Pisces. They feel the need to defend some sort of ritual or rite. They could be at a distance from you because of a ritual or rite. Just careful. 
because there's toxicity here and there's this need for a higher perspective on this toxicity or on whatever that magical right is that was going on there. What's this fishes? Page of uh, fishes in Taurus's future. I'm gonna find out something by accident. What's this page of fishes? Yep, what's this page of fishes? What's this page of fishes? Ace of Swords, Five of Cups. King of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Taurus, also card of Aries, it's you. You're gonna realize, you're gonna realize something. It's gonna make you sad. You might have to offer an apology to somebody because you might have accidentally done something. You might have accidentally hurt somebody. You could get into an accident. Careful when driving, if you're driving this week. Somebody's feeling defensive. And it could be they just expose their toxicity to you and, you know, that makes you feel sad. But I feel like you're going to find something out by accident. What's this Knight of Wands? Compromise. Okay. Balance is found in compromise, like almost always. What's this Nine of Wands? That's why we compromise. What's this Nine of Wands? What's this Nine of Wands? Judgment. Scorpio energy. Uh, Queen of Wands, Eddie Fire Sign, Aries Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Aries. Also a card of Libra and a card of Pisces. Knight of Wands, Eddy Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Heavy on the Sagittarius, also card of Scorpio. So, someone from your friends and family unit. You're going to have to call something to an end, like the call a truce there, or somebody in your friends and family unit. Find some sort of compromise here. With whoever these people are for you you might you might be called to bring compromise between two people or you might be just be called to compromise with someone for the sake of someone else if you will like somebody coming to you and going please compromise with this person what is this retribution in Taurus's outcome evidence feeling defensive because you can see signs of stuff what's this Retribution. What's this retribution? What's this retribution? Cancer energy. Again, careful when driving. Okay? Because this could be a, a card of uh, vehicles. Motion movement vehicles travel. I don't, I don't know if you guys are planning on traveling. Or maybe you're going to see evidence that somebody else is traveling. I don't know why that matters. Uh, Ten of Wands is feeling overburdened by this conflict. Five of Wands. So we're going to find out more what this is down here. Well, the Divine's trying to show you something. I'm trying to show you where something comes from. Because, you know, you've got this. This is the same thing as getting that Ten of Wands. It's the same energy. What is this innocent in Taurus's summary? Sweet dreams, okay. Okay. What is this innocent in Taurus's summary? You're gonna discover something about somebody else, essentially. Eight of Swords, something you don't particularly like, but it doesn't really affect you, sweet dreams. It's kind of like you're going to find something out about somebody else. Uh, Knight of Pentacles, any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, heavy on the Virgo. 
also a card of Leo. You could find out from this person or you could find out something about this person. Take that as it resonates. What's this misfortune in Taurus's past? Loneliness, okay. So this fight could be coming from this being up in your head because somebody just feels lonely. What's this misfortune? What's this misfortune? Yeah, it's, it's them. What's this misfortune? What's this misfortune? Page of Cups. Again, the, an apology. Because, I mean, peep it. It's you. Well, it's you. And then, and then in the balance, so you should know that this whole thing, whatever this is that you're going to find out about, right, whatever it is you're going to realize, whatever it's here that's making you sad, whatever this is that's, you know, going to get said, whatever it is, whatever this is, where you have to make this this choice and do this compromise all of that exists because somebody is existing in this nightmare energy with this loneliness they're feeling overwhelmed it's all existing because you know they need some kind of help what's this conflict in taurus's summer stop so this conflict will stop <laughs> that's good what's this conflict What's this conflict? What's this conflict? So this conflict will stop with this solid judgment. That's a uh, king of swords, any air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy on the Aquarius. Also a card of Capricorn. Or this conflict is stopping some sort of opportunity here for you, Taurus, Libra energy, that's you. I have a feeling like you need to make up your mind about this, this conflict and just sort of decide, like, I am not going to have a conflict. We can have a discussion, but I'm not having a conflict. And I know myself, I'm not dealing with yelling and screaming. Come back and talk to me when you can talk to me with respect. I'll talk to you with respect, even if I'm frustrated, and I won't bring it to you until I'm sure I can talk to you with respect. This is the Sacred Geometry Oracle. We're going to pull you one, in, one card for what you should be focusing on this week, and then we're going to get you advice. More advice, I should say, because this is advice. What does Taurus need to focus on January 16th? through the 23rd. Soul time. Okay, love that. The frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge. One that embraces the concept that while the corporeal body is mortal, the soul is timeless limitless and infinite well that's very true and we are supposed to be resolving dualities this year so there you go that is the duality right advice for taurus january 16th through the 23rd advice for taurus january 16th through the 23rd advice for taurus january 16th through the 23rd Okay, so some communication that's going to come in to you, which may or may not feel like bread coming, might feel like it's a, a benefit to you or not, could be from an Aquarius, um, but it doesn't have to be. It could be also a message from the divine, which most things are, uh, and is an element of destiny. So whatever is going to be happening here with this communication, understand that it's an element of destiny. If you have a yes or no question you would like answered, this is the time to think it because this is the deck that does it. I'm going to pull three cards. It's your opportunity to pause the video to think of one to three yes or no questions you would like answered. Message 
for Taurus. Improving health. Message for Taurus. That one's come up a lot. No, emphatically. Message for Taurus. Ask your angels. Yes, no, yes. Advice for Taurus, January 16th through the 23rd. Be bold and make the first move, Cardinal Moon. Believe in the impossible blue moon. Advice for Taurus, January 16th through the 23rd. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. Bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. You got a couple of Aquarius energies floating around in here. Because um, the King of Swords can be in Aquarius. You have the Star card a couple of times in, in, uh, in bunches of places, so. Could be. So. I mean, we'll have one of those. That'll be February. So you might have some, uh, some things coming to a completion there in February. Or March, because that new moon is going to be in March, too. Looky, looky. Look at that. Okay, so there might be something you're not quite seeing. Make sure you're looking at that. You're meditating and you're looking at that big, bigger picture and you're, you're approaching people from a heart-centered place. And make sure you're leaving time for yourself to heal. Okay. It's important. Message for Taurus. Yeah, and no need to worry as you're going through this stuff. Okay. Nature's messengers. We send you a butterfly, which for me is a sign of Gemini. A sign we are with you. We often cannot be seen due to our differing vibrations. So step into nature, come closer, and the answer you desire will be yours. Go outside and meditate in nature, Taurus. What could it hurt? I hope that helps, Taurus, because it's what I have for you. And just remember, as you go about the world this week, that you are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. And you have a right to be here.